This video is presented by SMI Advisor. SMI Advisor is funded by the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration and administered by the American Psychiatric Association. The topic of this video is how to administer a long-acting injectable medication, or LAI, into the abdominal subcutaneous site. The video includes demonstration injections that are administered by a licensed, board-certified psychiatric nurse practitioner. Before we get started on the demonstration, here is an important reminder. You should always consult each medication's current package insert or accompanying material for the applicable preparation and administration instructions. The information in this presentation is intended to provide a basic overview only and does not include comprehensive or current information regarding each medication's preparation and administration. The first step in any injection is to thoroughly wash hands according to relevant guidelines and wear appropriate, well-fitting gloves. Next, prepare the person to receive their injection. Make sure they are comfortable. Check for a history of allergies or anaphylaxis. Review details about their medication and prescription. Describe and explain the injection and answer any questions. For this injection procedure, make sure that you provide adequate privacy for the individual. Finally, position them in the appropriate posture for the injection. For the abdominal subcutaneous, that means they should lie back with any outer garments or jackets removed and their shirt removed and or pulled up enough to expose the injection site area. Now prepare your supplies and any other materials needed according to the package instructions. This includes selecting a needle and syringe of the appropriate length based on the person's build and physical characteristics of the injection site area, such as weight and subcutaneous fat distribution. Also remember that if the person is very thin, do not use the abdomen as an injection site. To locate the injection site in the abdominal subcutaneous area, face the person and find the costal margin. This is the ridge formed by the cartilages of the 7th to 10th ribs. This is your upper border. Next, find the iliac crests and imagine a line connecting them across the abdomen. This is your lower border. Visualize a two by two grid across the area between these two borders on the patient's abdomen. The umbilicus or belly button should be in the center of the grid. Avoid this area. Choose an injection site in one of the four areas outside of the umbilicus, which is a minimum of two inches from the umbilicus. Make sure that the site has enough subcutaneous tissue to accommodate the needle and injection. Use a different injection site each time the medication is administered. The new injection site should be a minimum of two inches away from the previous site. Now that you have located the injection site, clean the injection site for 15 to 30 seconds with an alcohol wipe, then let it dry. Prepare your gauze and bandage and have them ready. Remove the cap from the needle and discard. Before giving the injection, you should use your thumb and index finger to pinch a two inch fold of skin. This pulls the adipose tissue up from the muscle. Continue holding the pinch during the injection. This helps the medication go into the subcutaneous tissue and not the deeper muscle. Be careful not to insert the needle too quickly or deep. Be mindful of your fingers that are pinching the skin. The needle should be inserted at a 45 degree angle into the pinched skin in the landmark area with a dart-like movement of the wrist. The needle should be completely covered by skin once inserted. Press the plunger all the way down smoothly to administer the medication. The maximum recommended volume for abdominal subcutaneous injections is 1.5 milliliters. Remove the needle from the skin and gently hold gauze on the injection site. Immediately dispose of the syringe and needle into an appropriate sharps container. Cover the site with a bandage. Document the procedure in your electronic health record according to any appropriate guidelines and protocols. Want to know more about LAIs? Find more information and ask questions to SMI Advisors National Experts at smiadvisor.org LAI.